what we have here is a level 2 volume question in disguise. It doesn't say that it's a volume question exactly, but with a picture hopefully it will be easier to see. Zoe wants to make a driveway. The driveway is going to be straight with width 6.2 metres and length 4.9 metres. Zoe works out she needs to dig out earth to a depth of 0.225 metres to make the driveway. She will put the earth she digs out into skip bags. Each skip bag can hold 0.87 metres cubed of earth and Zoe has 8 skip bags. Does Zoe have enough skip bags for the earth? So what we need to do is work out how much earth she's moving and whether it will fit into 8 skip bags. Now, to find out that earth she's moving, that's where the hidden volume bit comes in. She has a driveway with a width 6.2 and a depth, uh, a length, sorry, 4.9. Then her driveway is, sorry, let me make it a bit clear that that's supposed to be a rectangle. Her driveway is going to look a bit like that, uh, with length 4.9. But it also tells us it's going to be dug out to a depth of 0 0.225 metres. So it's not just a flat rectangle like this, it's actually a 3D, very shallow, but of 3D cuboid with depth 0 0.225, and these are all in meters. So what we need to do is work out how much earth is dug out, which means we'll be looking for a volume. To work out the volume of a cuboid like this, you're doing the width times the depth times the height. So I'm going to go over to my calculator and times those three things by each other. Uh, 6.2 for the width times 4.9 for the uh, length or depth uh, times that by 0 0.225 for the other dimension which here actually is depth because it's a driveway being dug out. Equals. Okay so this big number is the volume of the of the earth that's being dug out for the driveway. I'm going to put some units in here just so that you know what they are. Uh, this was a meter, this was in meters, this was in meters, so this answer is in meters cubed. And is there a button for that somewhere? No, it doesn't look like there is. Okay, I'm just going to put meters three. Meters cubed, that's the units, uh, like here, meters cubed. So that's how much earth needs to be moved. And there's a couple different ways we can do this next step, I'm just going to do it one way. I'm going to find out how much space she's got in eight bags that hold this much each. Now, you, side note, you do have the option here to divide this by 8, uh, or to divide it by this number to find out how many bags it needs, but I'm not choosing to do it that way. If you did it that way, that's probably fine. Anyway, the way I'm going to do it is work out how much earth she could hold with these bags and see if it's more than she needs or not. So, 8 lots of 0 0.87, because you've got 8 bags of 0 0.87 meters cubed each, means you can hold this much. So which is bigger, the amount she can hold or the amount that she needs? This shows that she can hold more than she needs, so she does have enough skip bags for the earth. So does Zoe have enough skip bags? Yes, she does. Good. Um, I'm just thinking about it. I think I would like to show you how to do this the other way, but I'll, um, if you want to pause it here or skip ahead so that it just doesn't throw you off, that's absolutely fine. Um, if we just think back to where we were at, we knew that the volume we needed to move, the volume to be dug out, is this much. And if I divide that by the amount that each bag can hold, that will tell me how many bags I would need. And maybe that would be less than 8, maybe it will be more than 8. So I'm going to take the answer from before, 6.8355, and divide it by 0 0.87 to give me this number, which is very, very long, and it's gone to a stupid place in the working out because I, I left my mouse in the wrong place. Okay, so this long, silly number is how many bags we would need, and as you can see, it's less than eight. So the important thing isn't all these decimals, it's just that it's less than eight. So does she have enough skip bags? Yes, yeah, she still does. Okay, I'm gonna delete that now and show you how to check your working. And as always, I'm going to separate out my working to show, it, show the examiner, make it really obvious where I'm doing my check. Okay, uh, for a check, I think the easiest way of doing it is with a reverse calculation. And if I look at my working out, this is a bit nasty to do. I'm going to do this thing in reverse. And hopefully, if I reverse this, I should get a number that makes sense. Oh, sorry, that, that, that's 
it's a bit unclear. I'll show you what I mean. To do a reverse calculation, I'm going to start with my answer, 6.96. It was a times before, so instead of a times, I'm doing a divide, I'm doing the opposite. And I'm going to follow it backwards because it's reverse. So 6.96, I'm saying it's divide. I'm going to divide by this number, and my answer should be this number. So 6.96 divided by 0 0.87. If I've done all my working out right, if this is correct, then my answer should be 8. And is it? Yes, it is. Oh, I've done it again. Left my mouse in the wrong place. Sorry. There. That shows that my working out was correct there, because if I do the calculation in reverse, I get the answer that I should. OK, so there was one mark for that check there, which we've got. There was one mark I expect for finding out how much earth needed to be moved for the driveway. The other mark for doing one of the calculations I showed you, it could be this one, to determine whether she's got enough space or not. And the final mark for the first section is for saying yes or no, uh, depending on the answer you got in here. Good, good. Lovely.